I was the first in my family to go to university. Um, it was, you know, a significant um, achievement to get into Cambridge. Uh, I was completely terrified, terrified of failure. The thing is, by the time at that stage you get there, you're so hyped to failure that you don't actually have a very good time because you're just so constantly focused on what this means. And I think at that time, university was presented, certainly for somebody like me, as something that wasn't your automatic expectation. So it was a bit of a mysterious world. Place is really important. We live in this virtual world where we're connected with everybody all the time through social media. And I think creating great places is probably more important than it's ever been before. We're standing um, high up on one of the new residence buildings. It's a major project for the university. They're great architectural design and we are not only in the campus but we're also in Peel Park, we're in the public view. Universities contribute to their cities. Salford's got some right to be called the Venice of the North because it's a city a lot of people don't realise built on water. Without water, Salford would be nothing. Universities are great places that convene different sorts of experiences in those journeys and those intersections bring people together. Water and canals are a very appropriate metaphor for what a university is about. Whether it's the sort of university's focus on contemporary challenges in engineering or uh, whether it is in um, the very important work we're doing in the area of dementia, for example, we are at the same time looking for the external public benefit and what that brings to society more generally in improving the quality of life or the conditions that people live in. When there is an overwhelming ethic that really emphasises the importance of private enterprise and private ownership, I think holding tight to that notion uh, of public good and public value is, is really important. Self is always going to be interesting, exciting, a little bit edgy, a little bit dangerous, um, a little bit different. That's what it really should be. When I first came here, in um, early 2009, it was literally a hole in the ground. We put on hard hats and went down into a hole in the ground. So we've come a long way, but there's much more to it than the buildings and the kit. And it's about bringing the people into it and bringing the spirit of creativity. I came into higher education here uh, at a time when just after the 2010 election, as with many other universities, uh, it was necessary to take away a significant number of jobs and I found that very difficult indeed and I still do. It's if you like the brutal language of human resources. Humans aren't resources. In a way that's also why people need to move on from the jobs and not really occupy them for a lifetime in that sense, both for themselves but also for the sense of the health of the organisation. The one um, banned word in all of this for me is retirement and uh, the thing I hate most about it is people coming up to me and saying oh you've retired now have you you know retiring was something that my father did our generation doesn't retire